What in God's name are you doing here? My, my, head, my iPad broke. Well, why don't you tell the audience about what happened to your iPad, how much you loved it, while I go get some water. More than you'll ever conceive of. I was very happy with my iPad. Oh, did you hear about the new line of shoes that Steve Jobs is going to be releasing soon? The iBrand. I'm so excited! <laughs> Oh, they got so many new things coming out with the, with the iPod, the iMac, and everything just plugs all into itself. You have the phone that acts as the computer, the computer that acts as the phone that acts as the... Everything's just coming all together until eventually, it'll just be all plugged into this wonderful matrix. That's what Steve Jobs loves doing with his, with his technology, don't you know? He likes making everything just monochrome and monocolor. Everything will just be white and pure and clean and wonderful. It'll just look like this little robot that they had, that they had during Wally. Isn't it great? You ever just get a bunch of iMacs and put them all together, like the blue one, the green one, the red one, you put them on top and some of the Megazord? Oh, that's wonderful. I've always wondered what giant robot would always function off of Steve Jobs' and immaculate Mac conception. I figured it'd be something like Voltron. Because Voltron is a lot like a Mac. He's very user-friendly, but he's not very good about dealing with the competition. You ever realize that? You can't put something evil from Microsoft inside your precious holy Mac. No, it rejects and sets it on fire. Voltron's like that. He's not a team player. Voltron's not a team player, Keon. Not a team player. I just got a text message from Hotterhe. You are to get the tuna sandwiches yourself. Since you didn't know that I was up here in a public environment where I could promote the SOS Brigade activities. So, I lied to her and said I was doing that, so get off my stage! She's not born, is she? Oh, I don't know. Close face! Close face! Okay, getting back out of character. So, uh, we are continuing on from kind of where we left off uh, yesterday, actually, at this same juncture. It's funny that Uncle Yo, when he was on the stage, mentioned Dragon Ball. One of the things I, I prepared for you guys today is actually one of the theme songs from the original Dragon Ball Z. Getting a little old school. Uh, for some of the old school fans, I also extend my apologies to the Image Anime booth because I know that they were going to murder me for this yesterday. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Sorry. Love you. So this next one is the theme song to Dragon Ball Z, Hechala. Hey, 